So I am Lauren Stetson. This is my daughter, Cora. And we enrolled in the BBC project about three years ago when Cora was born at Brigham and Women's Hospital. We were not really hesitant about the study because we really wanted to know as much as we could about our daughter, but we were a little concerned that if we did have a result that would be life altering, how we would go about our new parenting style or what we would change about our lives in order to give her the best life that we could. Cora was originally flagged for biotinase deficiency on the newborn screening. We went and had her retested by her primary care physician. The results came back normal. And then about two months later, BBC called to tell us that she was in the group that was tested and she did have biotinase deficiency, but it was a partial. We went to a genetic counselor at Boston Children's Hospitals where they tested her and her enzyme levels were low and so they provided a vitamin supplement. She takes her medicine every day. We talk about it as a family because our five-year-old is very concerned as to why he does not get medicine also. <laughs> but he gets yogurt if he, if he wants. She takes it in her yogurt every night after dinner and she knows what it's for and why she does it. So we are grateful that it can kind of help our entire family in a way that we didn't really think about in our initial approach. I think that information sometimes can be daunting in the beginning, but it's always better to be more equipped with as much information moving forward as you can have versus being in the dark.